everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the Outer Plains Comics and Games Brick Busters video series. And today we are going to be opening Monster Menagerie 3. We're going to be opening up a case of this today, and this is the new set in, uh, from um, WizKids for Wizards of the Coast for the D&D Icons of the Realm sets. So these are available now in store and on our website so check them out you can get bricks packs and singles single minis here in the store so what do you say albert let's start uh open some plastic yeah all right let's slide this out of the way you know what let's start with this this actually is the case incentive this is available for purchase here in the store right now and this features this very awesome kraken miniature so yeah, it's pretty dope, and it's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> All right, let's open some minis. Right. Oh, here we go. Uh, that that bad, uh, fresh mini smell. Oh, I gotta love that smell. <laughs> Now, you know, I like to open my boxes of minis very precise, like a professional. very carefully. Yeah. <laughs> See, you know. That is very cool. The Gibbering Mouther. Might be too far away for you guys to see, but that is yeah. a very cool mini. You get close ups on everything. Very, you know, the Gibbering Mouther has always been very Cthulhu esque, you know? It does have that vibe. That's yeah. one of like Lovecraftian horror. Exactly, uh. exactly. And what's this? This looks like a new kobold. Yep. Can't have enough kobolds. So, <laughs> another kobold in the set. Sweet. Little gnome wizard. Ah, yes. Kind of nice to see things that could be used as player characters. Yeah, yeah. I might actually need one of those. What do we have here? Oh, this is a Sturge. Blood sucking bats, for those that don't know. That don't That's know. kind of fun. They did a little uh, spirally. Yeah. yeah, I do like how WizKids is going with the, uh, the translucent uh, effects on their minis now. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Yeah, they do that with the Nulzers too now, where they have a little transistor effects. And yes, we also offer Nulzars Marvelous Miniatures, the unpainted versions, pre-primed in Vallejo Primer, mm -hmm. here in the store as well. Yeah. Great sculpts on them. So my large in this one is a hill giant, and she, I repeat, she is pretty big. Check her out. Much like the previous hill giant from Storm King's Thunder, but, uh, wow, that's a lot of mini. <laughs> yeah, those things are dense. Yes, they, they got are. got some weight on them. They can also be used to control players with. <laughs> yeah, right, in that line. All right, <laughs> she's a big one. Yep. Okay. She picked up a Dragonborn fighter. That guy's pretty sweet. Ah, nice. You know, they need to do some more mm -hmm. Dragonborn. I'm glad to see mm -hmm. that. Glad to see that. Your big one. Is it's it? the uh, mouth of Roland Tor. Because I think I just opened the same guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. So, uh, Fistful of pumpkins there. Pumpkin shark. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we got a lot of uh, large minis in this set. Mm hmm. Very, it's uh, supposed to be a lot of giants, right? Yeah, like, very uh, similar to Storm King's Thunder. And this is a lead method. You know, a lot of people forget about the methods, and methods are very cool. Oh, that's oh my. 
my god, what Check do we have that. Here? Wow. Okay. This one's cool. <laughs> yeah, that one's badass. Wow. That is very cool. Oh, here he is. This is the you're never going to see this, but you can look him up. This is the gazer. Is that the gazer? Yeah. That thing is bitty. This is a beholder kin. That it's, it's, it's like a little miniature baby beholder with just four eye stalks. And it is so small. But how cool is that? This one Albert's opening is... Oh, man, this is nice. This is a nice yeah. man. Very nice mini. I just feel like the term mini doesn't really do these things justice when they're giants. Like this. These things are like borderline action figures. Yeah. Size, you know? A human bard. So, all you players out there looking for PC minis, this might be a good set because it looks like it's going to have some decent PC style minis in here. I was a little worried about that with uh, it being a, a monster menagerie set that it wasn't going to have as many player mm -hmm. characters, but it's cool to see them. Wow, this thing, this thing on the base. Awesome. Yeah, that's killer. There we go. Wow. That's bad. So what is her name? Uh, this is a Storm Giant Quintessent. Quintessent. Check that out. Yeah. For those spell that's effects. That's right. Those spell effects. That thing is awesome. Very nice. There's your scale. <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's what you're going up against. That's what you're going up against. <laughs> All right. Moving on, moving on. Let's see, a couple of spawn, a little vampire spawn, sea spawn. Nope, more undead. Yeah. You can't have enough undead. You just can't have enough undead. Okay, this first one here. Oh, goblin, straight up goblin. Goblin just just got. Oh, check that out! And he's he's holding a torch, and they actually that's made the thing. flames of the torch translucent. I think that's the first time I've seen this. Usually, it's just painted red and mm -hmm. yellow and orange, but that's actually a translucent orange. That's very cool. On a small goblin mini, they're I think they're raising the scale, guys. To or uh, raising the bar on the quality of these things. Oh, I sure. noticed that with the last Pathfinder. <clears throat> set too. Yeah, yeah, the really sculpts are a lot cleaner, the paint jobs are a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. You don't get anything in there that looks a little derpy. Like that dwarf. It's dwarf wizard. <laughs> oh, um, oh. oh, that was just bad. Sad. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah, very un unfortunate paint job for the sculpt. Wow, no, this is interesting. Okay, this is a gray slot, okay? And if you know your D&D lore and you know what slots are, what's interesting about this is previous slot minis were big. I mean, they were really big. And this guy's kind of smaller, but he's also very detailed. Very cool miniature. Yeah, it's another one where they do a little bit of a translucent. translucent. I'm well, seeing right? a lot That's of translucent. Really cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. You got a, a female hill giant too. I see. There's supposed to be a few versions yeah, yeah. of her. Oh, that are like holding different stuff or yeah. different, slightly different poses. Yeah. yeah. A Triton fighter. So more more merfolk in this set too. Very cool. Okay. He's pretty sweet. He's got like a little. Oh, what the, the heck is he? He is a tri drone. Apparently, I. Okay. Yeah. This is not. Yeah, what I wasn't. We were I wasn't thinking about. Tridrone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When I was just when we saw the, the name Tridrone listed, yeah. we were thinking of Modrons. Yeah. Um, but this is definitely not a Modron. <laughs> it's called a Tridrone. He's very cool looking. It's kind of arachnidy. Kind of half spider, half human, half. Yeah, he's got kind of these predator, like insectile <laughs> arms coming from around the back. Yeah. Interesting mini. Yeah. Nice colors. Oh, there's a little, uh, little bottle. Huh. Kind of looks like a jester. Yeah, yeah, at first I thought it was just kind of like a little jester guy. Man. Big his hat. Oh, that's sick. Look at, uh, look at his stats. It's got a little, little goblin head. Yeah, on. yeah. Oh, you know what that looks like? Dobby from Harry Potter. <laughs> it looks like Dobby. 
I don't want to think I has Dobby's head on a stake. But... Dan gave Dolby clothes. <laughs> That's for you, Dan. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, look at this guy. Uh, this is a Empyrean. Kind of looks like some kind of Titan. Oh. Very large individual. Nice skull. Nice colors. Big hammer. Pretty cool. Okay. Share this knoll. It's got like uh, little like tattoos on them and everything. I like, like, I like how far out his head is. Yeah, he's really kind of arched over. Very cool. I like Knolls. Knolls are good. Yeah. Knolls are good for those like four to six level campaigns. Nice abandoned. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this is waiting on that. Uh, this is the mini I've been waiting for myself personally, um, and that is the Quadrone. I love Modrons. When I saw they, they started making Modron minis, I got very excited. In fact, my last game in my campaign, we used many of these. And so, anybody out there who wants to play the Great, the great Modron March module, stock up on a bunch of these guys. Very nice mini. It's got the feathers like the Monodrone, but they're bigger. Very cool. Yeah, with the shields. Nice. Yeah. Another knoll. Nice. Let's see that guy. Yeah, pretty badass. You, I kind of feel bad you can't, don't see much of him because there's actually a pretty cool skull back there. Yeah, too bad you can't like open his yeah, arms. Yeah, move him apart a little bit. But still, man, look at that. Okay. Look at this. Those shields mini. don't mess around. This is a fire giant, right? Yeah, fire giant dreadnought. Yeah. These huge spiked shields. Now imagine <laughs> you got yourself some terrain out there. And you have a castle that's been overrun by giants, right? Mm -hmm. And so the gate's been ripped apart and everything. But now instead of a gate, you got three, two or three of these guys just standing mm -hmm. right there. That's awesome. Yeah, those are rad. Very cool name. Hmm. Oh, another Sturge. Yeah, an arcane wolf. Looks like a little uh, wolf or fox dude. Scrolls. Yeah, it almost looks like a yeah. like a were fox or something. Yeah. I'm familiar with that critter. Yeah. He's carrying a bunch of scrolls and a mm -hmm. fireball. That's a cool figure. Yeah. Very unique. Yeah, it'd be a fun player character. Yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Cool. I think I, I, found, I, think I found, found the counterpart. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I got you know from what I'm seeing so far. The color and the sculpt on this set oh, they're fantastic. is fantastic. I think WizKids has really been listening to their to their feedback and their fans are really stepping up the game. Sturge. So this is oh this is just a straight storm giant. Wow. Look how clear that yeah. translucency is. You know, that's one thing I'm noticing is the translucency on these minis are much clearer than previous translucencies where it's Yeah, it's kind real of foggy. clean. Yeah, yeah, it's super. It almost yeah. looks like uh, glass. Yeah. Like colored yeah. glass or something. Wow, he is cool. Yeah. That is a cool. I like the shape of the sword. Yeah, I like how they did sort of the irregular mm -hmm. the little barb at the bottom. And he's just holding that lightning bolt. Very cool miniature. Uh, we got to put those two up front together. Yeah. So yeah, you can come into the store and actually buy singles of these, or buy yourself a pack or a brick, see what you get. Or go to our website, you can actually order them on there, you can pick them up in the store, or we'll ship them to you. Yeah, you don't even have to leave the house. Yep, don't even have to leave the house. A magman. It's a pretty cool frost giant. A little magma critter. Ooh, yeah. Interesting color there. Yeah. Frost giant. Almost like an aqua color. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Hmm. 
Cool mini. Wow, lots of giants. Yeah, lots of giants. Oh, look what I got. <laughs> a storm giant. Yeah, or um, brother. An, another frost giant. Let's get those messed up. Frost giants. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys already filling the table, and we're not even through <laughs> one brick yet. That's a lot of miniature. Oh, there's another one of those guys that you pulled the little goblin or little guy, uh -huh. kind of jester looking guy. So wait a minute, hold on. This one's showing me that it's a, it says it's a winged kobold. Well, I don't see his wings. It's a winged kobold, apparently, but maybe the base is off. Winged cobalt. Weird, right? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Yeah. That's what it says? Well, that guy says goblin. Oh, this one says goblin? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's a trip. We have a misprint here. Better get it because it'll probably you know, be worth <laughs> ten times the amount. Right. Interesting. Yeah. A little quality control issue there. <laughs> yeah, here's another one of those tri-drone arachnid-looking predator uh -huh. guys. There we go. Slod. Mm -hmm. Those those creatures are nasty. Okay. Still going here. Another giant. This looks like this is a stone giant. Oh, that guy's cool. With a flag. He's got some kind of yeah, stone giant dreamwalker. Hmm. Huh. Wearing some furs there. Got some kind of staff or a pole with a flag on it. What's that growing out of like his a, shoulder there? Like a ship's wheel almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Like a joint or something. That's cool. It's a cool design on it. Yeah. Okay, this is our third knoll, I do believe so far. Yep. Mm -hmm. Three of those guys. <clears throat> A nice band of knolls. Little knoll raiding party. We got another uh, frost giant. Uh, this so one the got sword. the sword. Yeah. Another magman. So there's your frost giant with the axe, frost giant with the sword. Once again, very similar to Storm King's Thunder. Uh, yeah, that frost cool. giant was female and had a storm or an axe. So it's kind of interesting how there there was the female frost giant and the male hill giant. Right and now, now they, they have the, the female yeah. frost giant and the female hill giant. So keeping it fair and loving war. Magma. Yeah, quite a few little magma. This guy. That's another one of those. Uh, Jestery looking goblins there. Okay, so this is the wind cobalt. Aha. Uh -huh. For sure. Yeah, yep, that's yeah. definitely a winged cobalt. That's cool. You yes, don't see correct. winged cobalts too often, yeah. not in minis. Actually, you know, and the paint on these guys are pretty good. The eyes are really well done. They're not just globbed in there. Yeah, they get all the little details right. Yeah, it's yeah. looking really good. Yeah. Looking really good so far. Ah, here's another dragonborn fighter. Some kind of bone axe. And some plate mail. Like tentacles? A bearded, oh, that's a bearded devil? 
wow, they really redesigned the bearded devil. Uh, it's kind of interesting. He's purple. And he's got a tail. Um, he's got a ponytail and a cape, a spiked sword, and some green dreadlock beard thing going on. Yeah. Interesting mini. He's kind Curious of like a green what, dreadlocker. Yeah. Curious to see what people have to say about this mini. I, think, uh, I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> I guess that's another thing that kind of goes with that Cthulhu S vibe to have the tentacle. Yeah. Yeah, but. Speaking of, that's another mini I'm hoping to come across. And here's another sword frost giant. So, oh, there's another one of the, uh, those guys. Kind of looking at the mix we're getting too. And this is all out of the same case. So, for those that are curious about the mix, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a cool mini. Yeah. That's interesting. That one's a little smaller than the previous versions. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. So, the slots look like they've come down in size a little bit. And now, those two. It's kind of looks like a warthog. Oh, yeah, it's one of the werebore. Oh, werebore. Kind of a big uh, mall, it looks like. Mm -hmm. When we're done here, we'll do a pan by the table up yeah. close so you guys can get a really good look at how these minis are looking. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a sweet. Oh, that's a Kuatoa. Ah, made in purple. Nice, little Kuatoa Mini. Can't have enough of those either. That little method. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Another Mezzaloff. That's a cool Mini. I like the scope on that one. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm a fan of anything demonic related in DD. &D. <laughs> Ooh, the new Cyclops. There's your new Cyclops. Uh, sweet. One eye. One club. More large minis. Yeah, no with a flail. Ah, yeah. Knolls should have flails, in <laughs> right. my opinion. I think that's that's the total knoll way. <laughs> Last one, so we're going to open half this case live like this, and then we're going to cut and just go ahead and open the rest so you guys don't have to sit and mercifully watch all of us uh, <laughs> sit here and go through this. So you've got a, another Cyclops. Another Cyclops. Oh, and this guy's got like a little... Oh, different, yeah, different, different weapon. weapon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looks like a, one's got a stone club and the other's got a... Wooden club, or it seems like a hammer. Yeah, a wooden hammer with a stone head on it. Oh, one of the, uh, there we go. Quadrons. Another quadron. I do yeah. like that mini. Yeah, it is slick. I do like that mini. That's cool. I like the the. I just love mob drones, Period. Yeah. I love Planescape. Excellent mini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the design on it. I think that they do the movie. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And last one we got here. Jeez, these guys are just massive. Yeah. Oh, no, there's all. Fellas. There they are. All right. So there's the first two bricks out of this case. Opening live for you. Now we're just going to cut. We're going to go ahead and open these other two as quickly as we can. We'll set it up all, all up on the table, and we'll do a nice slow panning of it so you guys can see close what you'll get in a case, or at least what we got in this case. In this case, you get some minis. <laughs> so stay tuned. Well, OK, the case opening is now complete. Um, this is what we received in the case. 
We have a few pulled to the side that we're going to talk about that we chose as kind of our top three that aren't the obvious ones. Um, and let's get right into those obvious ones. And that's these three sitting right up front here. And this one in front is the one that I would say out of the entire set impressed me the most. Hands down. The Excellent sc sculpt. So many cool little details. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say enough about that mini. It is killer. When we do the table crossover, we'll kind of pan on him a little bit. But this is called the Frost Giant Everlasting One. And this thing has three heads of its own. It looks like it's carrying three heads of its victims. Uh -huh. And it has... It's wearing. A, it's wearing <laughs> heads of its victims. Yeah. This is yeah. just one awesome mini. Yeah, it's fantastic. Obviously, these two here... Very impressive, very nice sculpts, beautiful coloring, wonderful job. Yeah, just really great attention to detail. Absolutely. So, um, three that we uh, each picked out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the one that I mentioned right away that I was kind of waiting for, and that is the Quadrone Mini. Um, as far as I'm concerned, WizKids, Wizards of the Coast, keep giving us Modrons. I absolutely love these things. So, I'm happy to see a new sculpt for that. What's your first pick? I'm gonna go with this uh, super metal bar. <laughs> I just love, love the pose. They threw some metallic on the looter. It's a guitar. Who are we kidding? It's, it's very a metal. Guitar. It's, it's super very metal. metal. <laughs> and uh, who doesn't want a bard that's metal? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I agree. I mean, he <laughs> he deserves to be that many deserves to be on a stage. Yeah. Oh, you know, for that's sure. In a tavern. And, and yeah, that's... It's just cool to see a, I don't know. It is. I still feel like some of the bard sculpts yeah. previous were a little light. Generic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see something with some Bards are getting some love. Yeah. Bards are getting some For love. Sure. Okay, my next one is the Niyogi Mini. And out of this case, we only got one. I was very surprised to All see right. that. Mm -hmm. But this particular creature... Um, originates from the old Spelljammer setting, and I was very excited to see this. Um, this is a Spelljamming slaver race, and there is rumor going around right now that Spelljammer, that old campaign setting, is going to be coming back, and they're going to be putting it out for fifth edition. So, if that's if there's any truth to that, um, I'd right. start picking up some of these guys now, and. Uh, with that rumor going around, it's interesting to see them put this little guy in this set. Maybe they're trying to say something. Right. Just drop the one little little nugget. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. What's your second one? All right. Second one. I think I'll talk about this little guy. This was the uh, Nilbog. I just really like the the sculpt on it. I like that they put a little detail of a head on the end of the staff. It's just a cool little piece that's fun and just really digging it. Yeah. Pain? No, All right. He is a cool mini. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my third one, and I'm not sure what they're doing with this creature now. Um, I'm going to have to find out, but definitely one of my favorite races in the game. Yeah. But he's much larger than he normally is. And what was once the Illithid, this one is called the Ulitharid, and he is a huge mind flayer casting a spell. And his tentacles are extremely long. It's a very cool mini. Um, the size, just to give you an idea of the scale here, he would be a large. Um, we got a PC size mini. Here we go here. So you can see the size difference there. This is an extremely cool mini. Very excited to see that. It's just a fun sculpt. It's working on so many different levels. And the trans in so many yeah. different directions. The translucence again, super crisp. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, and you're all right. Your third pick. I, I had to go with it. I had to go with the Yeah, you have to. It's just got cool details. Got a little goblin sitting here on the little top. You even got a little, little something in here. It almost looks like a little helmet. Uh -huh. when you look at it. That's some yeah. kind of head or something, isn't it? It does. It looks like a little head. Interesting. Yeah. 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 But just great. I, I love all the little details. It really feels like a mechanical piece on an organic piece. It is. Um, and just a lot of color variation. I love to see this guy stomping up. Very cool mini. Yeah. Very cool mini. Yeah. Okay. 
So anyway, guys, um, that's the set. Uh, definitely, if you want or need some Frost Giants, <laughs> this is the set to buy. Yeah. But uh, stay tuned. We're going to do a flyby of the table. We'll give you a little closer look at these guys. But uh, make sure you swing into the store. Pick yourself up some minis. Monster Menagerie 3. It's new. It's good. They look great. And uh, it's a very nice set. Singles, packs, bricks, um, all available here in store as well as on the website. Yeah, uh, at our website, uh, which is uh, outerplanesgames.com. Uh, follow us on Facebook at outer.planes. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Stand by for some pan by.